Well, good morning. Welcome back to the house. Today, I thought I'd share with you some of the many comments that we've been getting during this Faith Forward series, because I love hearing what your small groups are doing, what you're doing for your acts of kindness, what you're learning through the faith study. And I think that you'll enjoy this too. So here's one from Deanna Gardner. She writes, fantastic faith study. We are sharing prayers as well as tears during our weekly small group time. She says, and look at this picture of this. She says, last Friday, our small group helped with food distribution here in Watsonville. We'll have our full group with us again next Friday. And then our reward is dinner together after our volunteer work. That is a great idea. Here's one from Cheryl Trowbridge. She says, I'm attaching this picture of my rock from church a few years ago. It sits on my Bible every day. There it is on Hebrews chapter 11. And she says, I'm praying for you all to see evidence in people's hearts at TLC that they know Jesus is bigger than everything going on in the world today and that they would take responsibility for the input they allow into their minds. More of Jesus, less of Facebook and cable news. Amen on that. Here's another one for you. We live over the hill and we come on Saturday nights with our son who's 24. He's become doubtful of his faith and of God, but he loves food. And so we combine church with dinner in the area after church. And the great thing is he really is enjoying this Faith Forward series and discussing his issues with Christianity and the church with us at dinner after the service. I love that. Here's one from someone named Sharon. Thank you, Renee, for the Faith Forward message. It's been very helpful for me and my husband to focus on the Lord and move forward, even when your feelings are pushing hard on you to just sit down and be overwhelmed. Can you relate to that? And finally, here's one from Connie McNair. She writes, as a Jewish believer who grew up in the synagogue from a long line of rabbis, I sure love these Old Testament stories. So feel encouraged as you continue to see these many monuments of faith. Thank you, Connie. You know, we talked last weekend about uplifting people with your words, about being the voice of Gideon's angel. We've talked about it during this week's devotions too. And you've been doing that for me all week long with all these emails and social media comments and cards and so on. So thank you so much. Love to hear from you. Renee, R-E-N-E at TLC.org. You know, Ephesians 429 that we quoted this last weekend says, do not let any unwholesome talk come out of your mouths, but only what is helpful for building others up according to their needs, that it may benefit those who listen. Thank you for doing that. You have been the voice of Gideon's angel to me this week, and you've helped me live faith forward.